Thousands of civilians are fleeing the Iraqi city of Kirkuk after the Iraqi army seized control of the city or many parts of it from Kurdish forces. Kurdish fighters, known as Peshmerga, have been in control of the city since 2014, when Iraqi forces fled in the face of an advance by so-called Islamic State. The city lies in a region claimed by both the Kurds and the Iraqi government, and it is outside the autonomous Kurdish region, which is in the north of Iraq. Last month, Kurds voted overwhelmingly for independence, and that provoked the Iraqi government uh, to send in troops. Our Middle East correspondent, Ola Girin, cameraman Duncan Stone, are in the region, and they've sent this report from Kirkuk. <laughs> Pledging to defend Kirkuk. Peshmerga fighters began the day with defiance. But this small band was no match for Iraqi tanks. Nor were the locals armed with whatever came to hand. We lost 2,000 men fighting IS, he says. We're not afraid of the Iraqi prime minister. But that's not how it looked deeper in the city. A checkpoint on the outskirts, now a tense new front line. The Kurds, who fought IS with Iraqi forces, now fearing an attack by their former allies. Locals said they were closing in, Shia militia units linked to the Iraqi government, out of sight behind these buildings. Then this. we had to scramble for cover. Well, we suddenly had to pull back. There was a sustained outburst of gunfire at the position up ahead. We can't be sure where it came from, but it seemed to be coming from ahead of us, from positions where we were told there were Iraqi military forces. And in the last few seconds, we've heard gunfire also up ahead. As Kirkuk slipped out of Kurdish hands, an exodus began. Desperate civilians heading north towards the autonomous Kurdish region, many eager to escape the feared Shia militias. It looked like the city was emptying before our eyes. We met Peshmerga volunteers heading to Kirkuk, asking why the world had abandoned the Kurds again. The history is repeating again that the Kurds are being betrayed. One more time. The world is just silent when it comes to, when it's come to the Kurds. It's just, it's not fair. It's not fair. This lone fighter arrived to help. All he could do was try to organize the retreat. But he insisted last month's independence vote by the Kurds was the right move, though it angered Baghdad and triggered all this. By evening, an Iraqi victory parade. There is an ethnic mix in the city, and some locals welcomed the troops. But the winner here may be the so-called Islamic State, whose enemies in Iraq are now fighting each other. Orlegiran, BBC News, Kirkuk.